So the next is we are going to see some more fill in the blanks. So the first is the smallest unit of a substance showing all its properties is called a molecule. So earlier we seen that the smallest unit of a substance is called an atom whereas in this we have the smallest unit of a substance showing all its properties is called a molecule. The next is liquids take the shape of the container in which they are kept. So for example if we pour water in a glass bottle you will see that it takes the shape of the bottle in which it is being poured into whatever may be the shape whether it is a round bottle or a flat bottle or a square bottle whatever may be the shape of the bottle or the vessel into which the liquid is being poured into it takes that particular shape the next is miscible liquids mix with one another so we have learned this that when two when we take two liquids and we pour it in one particular ves vessel then we see that two liquids mix together then they are termed as your miscible liquids. The last is copper is a good conductor of electricity. Hence you see most of the electrical wires we use copper wires because it is a good conductor of electricity. So the first fill in the blank is the smallest unit of a substance showing all its properties is called a molecule. Liquids take the shape of the container in which they are kept. Miscible liquids mix with one another. Miscible liquids mix with one another. Copper is a good conductor of electricity. So copper is a good conductor of electricity. So moving on to the next exercise, we are going to name them. So the first one, a mixture of sugar and water is a solution. We call it a solution or miscible liquids. So we take it as solution. So I'm going to write the word solution or miscible liquid. So mixture of sugar and water is a solution. The next is burning of wood is a irreversible change. So we cannot bring it back. So when we burn wood, it becomes or turns into ash. We cannot bring back the ash into wood. So hence it is termed as a irreversible change. So burning of wood is termed as a irreversible change. The next is changing of ice to water is known as your melting. So changing of ice to water is melting. So changing of ice to water is termed as melting. The next is changing of water to water vapor is your evaporation. So changing of water to water vapor is evaporation. The last one is inflation of a balloon is uh, can be termed as a physical change. So inflation of a balloon. So air is being blown into a balloon. So it is a physical change. So the first is a, mi a mixture of sugar and water is a solution. Burning of wood is a irreversible change. Changing of ice to water is melting. 
Changing of water to water vapor is evaporation and inflation of a balloon is a physical change. So seeing the fill in the blanks is the smallest unit of a substance showing all its properties is called a molecule. Liquids take the shape of the container in which they are kept. Miscible liquids mix with one another. Copper is a good conductor of electricity. So these are the different terms that we have come across. So where matter is concerned, there are different types of changes. That is your reversible change, irreversible change, physical change, chemical change. So we are going to talk about your reversible change. So reversible changes are changes which can be reversed. So example is your reversible water can be reversed. So the first is your reversible change. So reversible changes are changes which can be reversed. Example is your water. Irreversible change are changes which cannot be reversed. Example is the burning of paper, wood, etc. When you burn paper or wood, it turns into ash. We cannot bring back this ash as paper or wood. So this is your irreversible change. So reversible change are changes which can be reversed. Example is your water. Irreversible change are changes which cannot be reversed. Example is the burning of wood or paper. So as we have come to the end of our science lessons, I hope you would have understood all that has been taught so far. So I request you to go through all the videos so that you can understand better and take a note of things that you are not quite familiar with. And I hope that you will like, share and subscribe my videos to your family and friends. So bye for now until we meet again in our next session.